Hello guys, welcome to Showers TV. Showers means business always. But say we mean business, yes, we do mean business. This time round, we're coming your way with something beautiful. You know why? We did an interview with a startup that is into fingerlings, fish farming, Romela Farms at Ofenso. Today we are going fishing. Everything about fish farming is what we're bringing to you. If you want to learn how to do fish farming, feeding, how to sell it, where to sell it, stay tuned. Let's get into the video. When we visited them, we realized that the feed that they've been feeding the fish with is imported. Or they do the mixing manually with their bare hands. However, we realized that the farmer who is Isaka has been sent to Egypt by the government of Ghana to study how to prepare fish feed. But his challenge was acquisition of a machine. Fortunately, a friend of mine, a lady, an 80-year-old lady in the U.S., who fell in love with the job that he is doing, she wouldn't want her name to be mentioned on TV. So she's going to remain anonymous. Decided to partner with me. The two of us came together. She provided a chunk of the amount. That is 5,000 US dollars. I provided a part of it. And we decided to get Ramela Farms a machine, a setup that will help him do everything automatically. And here is it. Here is the mixer. This is the setup. If you are out there and you are a startup, all that you need is to start. Nothing more, nothing less. It is only when you've started something that the push will come. Today we are here unveiling this machine and I'll call my brother Ramela, come over. Today we are here unveiling the machine and it's mind-blowing how it is going to help him. It is mind-blowing how this machine is going to help him be able to produce the capacity, the quantities that his factory needs. So we're coming your way to just inspire you to start. We are here to inspire you to believe in whatever that you are doing. You don't know where the help is going to come from. He never dreamt, he never thought that one day, one time, somebody from nowhere come over and say, hey, I'm going to support you with so so and so amount to be able to put this machine here. So now your baby is here. Sure. How do you feel? I'm very grateful. You are grateful? Very, very, very grateful for the video that you did about eight months ago. Eight months ago. Yeah, and with your uh, the guidance, I've managed to get to me this machine mm. and I'm very happy. That that is, is here nice. It's going to help me a lot. Okay. Because previously we were mixing the feed on the ground manually. Manual with your hands. Which, yes, which wasn't easy at all. Okay. So with this machine, now I can see we are going to automate the system. Automate the system. Sure, sure. And when you were mixing the feed with your hands, how many times were you able to do in a day? Yeah, uh, per the machine that I was having, the extruder, mm -hmm. the capacity is 300 kilo per hour. Mm. So supposing if you want to do one ton a day, if you work for three hours, maybe the highest four hours, we are done with one we ton. We are done with one ton. Yeah, but because we were doing the mixing manually, mm. it was very difficult for us to even complete, complete ton a, a ton, ton per day. Because you have to mix it gradually, the mixing takes time. And besides, you know, you cannot use your hand to do a mixing and it will be done 100%. You will never get mm, like that. The, the so, accuracy, yeah, the, the, the accuracy won't be there. So this, what will this do for you? Yes. This is, the capacity is what? This capacity is also 300 kilos in 5 minutes. Let's take 5 minutes. Or maybe 300 kilos in 5, five minutes. minutes. Okay. Yes. But with manual, we even uh, 50 kilos, we were doing it around close to 20, 30 minutes. Mm. You see? But with this, it can do... 300 kilo in five minutes. So when I called you that day, 
yeah. that a friend of mine who is in the US and myself would want to support your farm sure. to get this equipment. How were you taking it? Did you believe it is going to ever happen? Yeah. In fact, uh, the belief was there, but it wasn't hundred percent. Hundred percent. I can say it was around sixty percent because they were here with me personally. Okay. So my belief level was around sixty percent then. Okay. But now it's <laughs> even one twenty. What did I personally see the machine? Yes. And it's here with me now. Mm. Yeah. So in fact, I'm very happy because it's gonna change the level of the business. Of the business. Sure. Wow. Wow. So now your word to the viewer, the entrepreneur out there yeah. concerning the feed that you are starting next week. We'll be here to start with you, gather every information that the buyer, the purchaser would have to have. Sure. What would you want to tell them? All right. Thank you very much. Uh, to the viewers out there, maybe uh, there are potential fish farmers among you who might uh, be interested to venture into fish farming in future. And those of you who are already into fish farming, uh, here is Romila Farms again. Uh, the feed, you know, as every fish farmer will bear with me, feed contributes to about 65 to 70 percent of the total production cost. So we have taken the assignment onto ourselves because the government uh, took us to Egypt to understand the feed formulation. Mm -hmm. So as we return, we begin to practice it mm -hmm. so that it will help the local farmer get a very cheaper feed. Quality so and cheaper. quality for his fish because the imported feed is becoming too expensive so we have taken it onto ourselves to go into local feed production and it's local by very quality you know it can even compete with a foreign feed and now you are trying to get the standard board yes. certification sure. so uh, we are trying if to get you can show them uh, all the setup as here, that we are doing we are going to standardize the feed we are not going to just do anything mm. for doing sake but we are, we are with the Ghana Standards Authority. These are their production guidelines here. And here is their books, production guidelines that you can use to, uh, you have to follow to do mm. the right thing. Because uh, we are doing it up to the world standard. We are not going to joke. Mm. So due to that, we are collaborating with them for them to guide us to do that thing. And then they will analyze the feed and get it the right protein, everything. everything. We know it ourselves, but we have to work with make them. It, make so it do, they official. will do the analysis and get at everything. Okay, now let's come here. So guys, this is it. This is the baby. This is the mixer. Sure. Uh, we are going to be working hand in hand with Romela Farms to make sure that the feed that has always been imported into our country, uh, it's now going to be done for Not us Ali. and by us sure. locally. Sure. So stick around, make sure you support a brother by buying for him. We'll come your way next week with the processes, step by step, step by step way of doing the feed. But today we came your way with a machine that we've gotten for him. And I am I'm so glad. I'm so so glad that we were able to keep to our promise. We didn't say this on on TV, on, on the screen, but we've been able to pull it off. So if you are out there and you want to start anything, if you don't start, Help wouldn't come from anywhere. Sure. Have you got any last words for the viewers? Yeah, thank you very much. To the viewers out there, like I said, we are always here to help you existing fish farmers and potential fish farmers out there to enjoy the benefit of fish farming. Because the feed contribute, as I said, it contributes about 65 to 70 percent of the total cost. production cost. So we are here to help you make around 60% of returns in your fish farming business. Mm. Yes. Thank you. This is what we're going to be producing. Floating fish feed. Yes. That's what we're going to be producing. So stay tuned and be watching this space for more aquaculture videos. Peace out.